Today's 101 is when to use an Inconel valve and why you use an Inconel valve and when not to use an Inconel valve. Okay, something we've never spoke about, um, but I think it's real important. So, you know, the reasons why we use an Inconel valve is because it dissipates heat. So you can look at this valve right here. This is an Inconel valve out of a top fuel car. It's a brand new valve out of a top fuel car. Okay. 3-8 stem on a top fuel car. The reason why they go to the larger stem is so they can make it bigger down here so it has more mass to dissipate the heat, okay? And you know, it's similar to what we do when we put a two degree hub that we've talked about on the exhaust side, okay? The issue with the Inconel valve is the weight. So we have Inconel, we have tie, okay? Here's your tie valve. 72 grams. If this was 1130 seconds, this would be about 74 grams. Okay, so not much different. About 3 grams probably there. Okay, now you have your Inconel. 120 to 72. An Inconel valve from a tie valve will always weigh 60 to 70 percent more. The problem is when you're refining valve train and everything, you're, you want to you want to find like 2% of valve weight is, is, is great to find, 3% of valve weight. But when you're dealing with 60 to 70% more, there's nothing you can do. And this has a huge dish in it, and it still weighs at 120 grams. Okay, so that's that's where it hurts you, okay? But Inconel, where it really pays to use it. Boats, boats, excellent. You know, if you have a, if you have a power adder on a boat, or if you're at 6,500 on the lake the whole day, you know, you put an Inconel exhaust valve in it, it will last, okay? You cannot run a tie valve for that application, okay? The other place we use them is guys that are running um, gasoline with power adders, superchargers, things like that. It creates more heat than methanol. So that's always a good place to use an Inconel valve, okay? Now, we have a lot of nitrous guys that always, that still want to use an Inconel valve. And what, what, we, what we explain to them is, if you look at a 958 big nitrous motor, um, you know, that runs the PDRA or the NHRA Pro Mod stuff, you know, they run about 1,700 horsepower of nitrous in them, basically double what the engine makes. Um, they do not run methanol, but they run titanium exhaust valves and they live. And this is what we tried to, we're trying to teach our customers that even though you have the nitrous in it, you don't have to run an Inconel valve. Um, you know, the benefit of going to the tie is if the, if the valve is designed correctly, which that's what we do, we design it correctly so it'll dissipate the heat, putting the two degree hub on it and everything. But what it does is it saves your lifters, it saves your valve springs, it saves your camshaft, it saves all of those parts, and that's why it's important in the right application to use tie whenever you possibly can. But like we said, Inconel does have a place for itself. Okay, so Inconel, boat stuff, gasoline power adders, Inconel, a good place to go. Anything methanol, I would run titanium in it. We have proved that the titanium will work. And that is your video on Inconel Valves 101.